We are now live and we should be hitting Facebook right about now. So welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the Business Combat Live show. I'm glad you're here. Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, we are here today. I got a couple uh, cool people here and a couple cool things to share with you today. Uh, just a couple of house cleaning notes. Number one, you can ask questions in the chat feature. There is probably going to be a link or two there so we can answer your questions as they come up. Uh, so feel free to say hello, feel free to say hi, or to post questions as we're going through this. We have a ton of just a ton of things that we are gonna to cover today and they are all designed to help your business move from where it is to where you wanna go. And we're gonna talk about a lot of things today, uh, including the entire cleaning protocols and safety features that you should have in place for your studio, uh, how to get your members that quit over the last 90 days back in your door with a $0 plan. And we're gonna show you how to get new members faster than you could have ever gotten them before, no matter where we are in the COVID-19 process. So uh, again, just go ahead and say hi. Now, if you haven't given permission for BeLive to use your name, then it's just going to come up and say Facebook user. So you can put your name in there or where you're from in the country in the comments, and then we are going to get started. The other thing I want you to do also is even though this is a recording and it will replay back in this group, you should take some notes, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a lot of information very fast. And if you're watching the replay, then you have the luxury of just hitting pause and doing it. But I do want you to take some notes, especially as we talk about the nurture campaign that we have coming up. And that's gonna be probably the first thing and the most important thing that we can cover today is how to get your members back through your door. Now, this is a, a process and a system that I have taught all my coaching clients that have, are across from California to New York, from Washington State to Washington, DC. It has helped them get a lot of their members back. And like I said in the beginning, it is a $0 cost, okay? Um, so grab a pen, take good notes, and let's get ready to rock. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do for your nurture campaign is simply get a list. Now, if you're using Spark or any other CRM software, it's pretty easy to find the list of people who have quit. Now, some people were hit really hard economically and they had to quit. Some people had a very emotional knee-jerk reaction to the COVID-19 pandemic, and rightly so. The news media did its job, scared the shit out of everyone very fast, and a lot of people got scared. So a lot of people quit, that in hindsight, they might be a little embarrassed. You might've even had some bad conversations with people. They got mad at you or frustrated. Emotions were all over the place during this pandemic, which it's not over, but it's gone the down slope of, and hopefully we're, get, we're getting on the other side out of this. So you need to collate some data. And what you need is a list of everyone that's quit in the last 90 days. Now, what I've told my coaching clients to do is go back to January, like screw it, because this campaign will work no matter the reason why they quit whether it was emotional, financial, logistical, doesn't matter. This campaign is going to position you as the leader that you already are, right? And it's just gonna re reaffirm that thought process in the minds of your customers. So go back to January and get the list of everyone that quit from January to yesterday. And when you have the list, you need two pieces of information on that list, their phone number, and their email address, and that's it. You can put it on a, on a spreadsheet, Excel, Numbers, Google Doc, doesn't matter. Just have the data. So for math's sake, let's just do some round numbers. Let's just say from January to June, you lost 40 members, okay? Over the last six months, right? Eight, seven, eight members a month, whatever that averages out to. Once you have that list, then you're going on day one to make a phone call. Now, if you have 40 or 50 or 30 members, I do not recommend doing this all in one day, right? Spread it out, you get five days in a week. So let's say you came up with a list of 40 names. That's eight names on Monday, eight names on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe you wanna do 10, maybe you wanna do 12, it doesn't matter. 
but don't try and overwhelm yourself. One of the principles that I work on is called me, me, which stands for maximum efficiency, minimum effort. And for all you martial artists out there, you know that that comes from judo, which is where our system and style was originated. That's another story for another video. Maximum efficiency, minimum effort. Don't overload yourself trying to do 40 calls in a day. On day one, for the first group of people, you're going to pick up the phone and you're going to make this phone call. And this is the script. I'm going to give it to you right now. So I'm going to use myself as an example. Hey, it's Shion calling from Red Dragon Karate. I just wanted to reach out and check in on you and your family and make sure you're okay. If you need anything, please give me a call at the studio. We are here for you. Period. And then just shut up. If you get someone on the phone, it's important to shut up at that moment and listen. Because all you're doing is reaching out to them to let them know what I just said. You're there for them and you care about them. They were your students. They were paying you. They were part of your martial arts family, but now they're gone. For whatever the reason, you make that phone call. Once you stop talking, one of two things is going to happen. A, they're going to tell you their story. Oh, my God. You, my husband and, and I both lost my job. Uh, the kids, we can't even get them up with their homework. It's just been a nightmare. So then you have an empathy conversation with them. I'm sorry to hear that. Listen, we're here for you. If there's anything we can do, you know, just let me know. Or the flip happens. You make that same opening statement and they go, oh my God, I was just thinking about you in the studio. Uh, I got my job back. We're, we're, things are rolling. We're doing good. We were just talking about coming back to the studio. If you get that conversation, now the move is, okay, great. So what would you like to do? We have virtual training and live training available, or you can do a combo of both, right? So now you can take them down that path. But if that part of the conversation doesn't happen, don't have it. Just have an empathy phone call with them. Reach out to them for no other reason than you honestly care. Now, there's two reasons for that. One, it's a good thing to do. Two, these were people you have rapport with who were paying you, who were, mem who were members of yours. They're the easiest ones to get back. Now, the other part of that is they might have been that group of people that I said that just freaked out and quit because they went into a panic. And if you have people like that that have quit, what's going to happen is they're going to be too embarrassed to come back. A simple phone call could make the difference between $150 a month and $0 a month. Now, if you get the answering machine, uh, it's the same thing, right? An answering machine. You can see how old I am. There's no answering machines anymore. <laughs> but if you get their message device, then just say you finish that with just give us a call at the studio, drop your phone number in there. Don't assume that they remember your phone number uh, and then just hang up. Now, that's step one on the nurture campaign. Step two, two days later, you're going to send those people that you called on Monday an email that pretty much says the same thing. Hey, it's Shion from Red Dragon Karate. I left you a message the other day. I wanted to make sure that you got it. I hope you and your family are good. If you need anything, please respond to this email or call us at the studio and you put your studio's phone number in there and send it to them. Two days after that, drop a postcard in the mail to them to the effect of, I hope you're doing good. We miss you, anything like that. So that's group one. And now you repeat that over the course of the week for each of the groups that you identify. Like I said, eight to 10 a day, maybe you wanna do five. Again, doesn't matter. Worst case scenario, you call, email, and postcard 40 people, and none of them come back. What do they think about you, and how do they feel about you and your business? They're going to feel pretty good, right? You're a good person who reached out to them for no other reason than to check in on them. And we should do that. We should have empathy for our customers and our clients, both the ones that are still there paying us, but the ones that have gone. And this is a step I feel a lot of school owners will tend to skip and they'll only focus on new, new, new and not past. So that's thing number one. It's your nurture campaign. I hope you took some good notes and you wrote it down. Again, if you have questions, you can pop those in the group as well about the things that we do. Uh, like I said, by the way, for those of you that know me, you know something important about me. And that is I don't teach theory. I teach practical and tactical I teach things that are road tested and proven, right? So not only am I doing them at my school, we're doing them across all the Red Dragon schools. They are working. My coaching clients are using it 
it is working. It is essentially, it's, I said a $0 cost. It's what, 50 cents to send a postcard? So you're in the whole deal, you're into 50 cents. All right, so that's step number one. Hey, John McCongo, good to see you, man. Thanks for being here today. Um, so there's your nurture campaign. Do that, that's step one. Go get the people who were already paying you, who already know, like, and trust you, and try and get them back in the doors. For step number two, that's where my special guest comes in. So what we have been using for the last, gosh, I think it's been a little over a year now, we have been using a, a system called Auto Run, which was developed by a guy up in Washington, Oregon, Washington, uh, whose name is Rich Chung. Uh, he's got a cool thing that him and his partner, Alan, had developed, which is a pretty much automatic, automatic when I say this, it's like zero effort on my part, way of getting new members, nurturing them, and getting them into the school without ever really talking to them. Right. So now we're going to have we're having a contrast. You have two parts. Right. The part I just paid you is nurturing and getting back the people who were there. Part number two, where I'm going to bring Rich in here in just a second, is getting people who've had zero contact with you and getting them through Facebook and then automating that entire process. So I'm going to bring him in here and I am going to introduce the world famous. I don't know if he's world famous. Rich Chung. Hey, Rich. Hey, what's going on? How are you guys doing? We are doing good. Uh, so I gave you a little bit of an intro there. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about uh, about Auto Run and what it is? And I know a lot of people in this group are already using it. Uh, like 90% of my Red Dragon school is using it. Same thing with our with our coaching clients. So um, what makes your your thing different? And uh, And then we'll get into some of the cool stuff that we've got to help people out today. Absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, I, I just finished taking notes on all of the amazing things that you you just talked about, about nurturing all of our old clients. And um, we're definitely going to be implementing all of those in our studio now. Oh, thank you. Know, that's a little tidbit. So thank you very much for that. So um, like Chris said, uh, my name is Rich and I uh, co-founded Auto Run Fitness. If you guys are actually an Auto Run customer, just under comments below, you guys can go ahead and click Auto Run or type in Auto Run so that you guys can uh, show some support. But um, about a year ago, we started working together and one of the hardest things for people to understand is how to modernize their their lead acquisition or trial acquisition in, in this day and age. Because in the old days, we're so used to doing PE classes and show and tells and birthday parties and all of those things still work, but they're a lot of they're a lot of work and it takes a lot of effort. And so about a year and a half ago, we started this in our own studio. And, and a year ago, we started it with you in, in the Red Dragon Glendora location. And what we try to make is a cookie cutter um, advertising system where Literally, studio owners don't have to know what to do. They just have to bring us on board and we'll do it for them. We set up the Facebook ads. We have the um, amp campaigns. We have the landing pages. We actually built a, a proprietary software that actually automates the first point of communication and, and brings back the first point of contact into the lead as fast as we can. Now, the great thing is when we were working with Chris, I remember the very first week he told me he didn't believe what, we, what I said I can do. And um, so we did a little test one with, with his studio out there and he was able to actually get 11 brand new memberships, not trials, but 11 memberships on his very first week of running an, um, one of our campaigns. Now, fast forward a year later, which is about three months ago, we end up in COVID. So we released out our online virtual training systems on March 15th, I believe is when we started it. We were one of the first in the nation to do that. And again, all of the schools across the nation were just able to just flood their studios with trials and trials and trials and enroll a, lot, a ton of students online. So here we are trying to help you guys with the reopening campaign. So Auto Run is designed to take you from wherever COVID has regressed you back into. Now, many of our Auto Run clients have actually progressed during the, during the COVID scenario. I know a couple of um, the Dojo Doctor clients that, that you work with, Chris, um, they were actually able to increase their billing check by a couple of thousand dollars a month while they were not having to operate their studios. And that's what we want to kind of do for this moving forward. Um, it's amazing. Right. And and so um, moving forward now, so let, well, let's go ahead and, and chat about what we have. So we we built this campaign because one of the things for for martial artists to understand, and if you guys are doing Facebook ads, um, you know, put a couple of thumbs up, or if you guys have tried uh, Facebook ads, you guys can put a couple of thumbs up on the comment section. But 
um, we don't really know what works and what doesn't work. And, and the reality is called the law of the golden circle. And the, the thing is, we often tend to want to teach or, or advertise our what. And the, our what's are what we're teaching. So we teach karate, we teach judo, jiu-jitsu, um, taekwondo, krav maga, those types of programs. But the thing is, it's such a niche avenue that the what doesn't really help the parent want to be attracted to whatever you guys are offering. But the why does. And the why is called a movement. This is how companies like Apple um, can create an iPhone that has less features than a Samsung, but can charge more money for their phone or why people will stay overnight to, in order to, to buy the latest and greatest iPhone, right? It's because of the whys. They're creating a culture. They're creating that. And for us, what we're fo focusing on our new marketing campaign is not, not, hey, come and try karate or come and try jujitsu, but really hitting home to probably the biggest pain point that every parent has experienced over the last 90 days. So if we can go ahead and show the landing page, um, please, we'll go ahead and show you guys what we built for you guys. And again, this is 100% all the way done for you guys. You don't need to know how to do anything. Yeah. So, um, so Rich, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, and click this over to show your screen, and I'm gonna try and not make the app crash while we're doing this at the same time. Um, awesome. So we're gonna try this here. So let's go and hold on. We'll wait for that to load. Three, two, one. It should. There's your screen right there. And I'm gonna try to get me out of here and let you rock this nope 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 oh we're playing checkers we're playing checkers there you go all right i'm gonna hit that ah not that let's get you uh no i don't want to leave cancel um bop, 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 i'm gonna hide me there we go that works all right, perfect. So, um, so again, we're not teaching, we're not advertising the the what's right. We all know that we have karate, or whatever form of martial arts that you guys are teaching. But over the last ninety days, and as a parent myself, and if you guys are a parent, you probably understand this. The biggest pain that we actually experience while being locked up in quarantine is the fact that our kids have just been sedentary and have lost almost complete motivation in life. Okay, that's maybe a little bit extreme. So not all motivation in life, but you know, their screen time is up, the Netflix time is up, the YouTube time is up, Xbox, PlayStation, Fortnite, you name it. And if you guys understand that in marketing, if you can find the pain that every parent is experiencing and then turn around and give them the, the solution, the bridge, right, or the gap between where they are and where they want to be is called martial arts, right? So you're giving them the solution. They don't really care what the solution is. They just want to be goal oriented. They have a kid who's been playing excessive video games, TV, all of those things. Their grades are dropping. They have no little to no interaction with their friends and, and, and family. You know, they're just trying to get them out. So what we put together, Chris and I were working on this, is a 30 day get active challenge. Now, challenges are amazing. Number one, because parents understand that they're short term commitments. They don't have to really commit for a long term um, a time frame. So it's a challenge. It's not like, you know, become a black belt. It's not sign up for a season. It's just a, a one and done type of a thing with the concept that you guys can flip them into memberships later. So as you notice right here, again, it's a 30 day challenge to get the kids active. And we're hitting the pain parts that are going to really be the most things about the, the, uh, the parents that have experienced. So moodiness or junk food, video games, having increased attitude, because again, it's like being cooped up, you know, on an island by yourself. Like you just kind of like start to go crazy or losing their drive in life. And again, this is probably what every parent is experiencing with their child. Um, now we tell them the solution. We have a fix for that. So we're moving on down. It's a 30 day get moving challenge. It's perfect to encourage your kid to get off the couch and be active. This is speaking like um, the Bible to the parents right now. This is what they want, right? So all they have to do is click on and sign up. Depends on um, your program. But as you guys get down, you can see what we're offering. It's the 30 day get active challenge. I mean, it pretty much gives them everything that that martial arts does anyways right so we have the 30 days of classes of course we we can tailor this towards whether it's online still or in person we have at home challenges that we should have you know mat chats and skill tasks that kids should be doing at home of course your daily life skills curriculum in the class and of course ex are are highlighting the fact that classes are nothing but fun and smiles because martial arts is not scary it is enjoyable for every parent um, and child and so again all they have to do is come in and click here now once they click here Right, we can go ahead and fast forward. And I don't know, Chris, if you want to talk about the transition from from the ad to the landing page, but I can show also some of the images that we have um, that we're going to be rolling out through here. So this is one of the ads that are already done for you guys. 
um, you know, happy kid, bright, yeah. vibrant, um, you know, kids of all ethnicities, happy training, having a good time. And of course, you know, care, empathy, compassion being taught right over here with an instructor down on his knees, talking eye to eye with the kids. This speaks a million words to the parents. So Chris, um, there you are. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I'm being, uh, like I said, I'm being producer, director, uh, and host all at the same time. Perfect. I'm trying to figure out all this stuff. So I'm gonna hide your screen for a moment. So you and I go side by side, there we go. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, everyone that uh, that's already using AutoRun, they get all that stuff for free, right? Yes, sir. This is all done for them. All they have to do is literally hop online, schedule a time. And for those that don't know what happens is we schedule an hour. We just hop on Zoom. I do 100% of the work for them. And all they have to do is drink some coffee while I'm working and then explain to me when their class times are. Just like Chris is doing right now. Like that, man. Espresso Nation. Hey, yeah. So listen, I'm going to give you a shameless plug here for a second. And that is, uh, and again, going back to what I said at the beginning of this video, I work on the principle called maximum efficiency, minimum effort. If I can get the most out of the least, then that's a win. This program that we're using, Auto Run, I have to do nothing. Like literally, Richard did set up my ads, set up my ad account, uh, optimized everything for me, uh, gave me access to his app, which is cool. That app comes right here to my phone. So every time someone signs up, I get a ping. Now, what gets better? As soon as I get that ping, I don't have to text that person. The system does that for me. And I generated what the automated responses would be and Richard set them up. So it seems as if I'm actually texting them live because they're spaced out in time. They're not like a chat bot where as soon as you type something, something comes back. There's a, what is it? A one minute delay, a 60, uh, Correct. One minute. There's delays built in. There's emojis built in. So it appears that you are chatting with a live person. Now, if they ask a question that the system doesn't have a pre-recorded response for, it comes right there on my phone. So I can actually text them. They don't get my cell phone number. It comes through the auto run system. Uh, it is great. And like I said, I didn't believe it at first until Rich goes, all right, we'll just test it out. And then I ended up it was 11. I think we got 10, yeah, 11 new, like not trials. Like, I, and, I, and I love people like, oh, we got 50. Like I could give a shit about trials or leads. I care about one thing, paid memberships. That's it. That's how my business moves forward. So that's great. You got 800 leads. Fucking cool, man. That doesn't pay your bills, right? The, you have something you can market to later, but when you can get a system that can get you memberships, like on the other side of that, that's cool. Now you got to have a sales process that backs that up. You've got to have a onboarding system inside your studio that backs that up, right? So we've got all those other pieces, but Rich's thing, which is the, uh, it's the reach out and bring them in quickly. It's gold. It's gold. And that, and that's why we use it. Yes. And, and, and along with that too, you know, like one of the favorite things I've ever heard in the martial art industry is free help is the most expensive help. I think we've all kind of heard that and experienced that because there's no vested interest. And, you know, I would like to say to everybody too, and this is what happened with me. Um, what some of my most expensive learning lessons was actually trying to do things on my own before I went out there and actually invested a ton of money into some of the courses that I learned on how to become a, an expert level uh, Facebook advertiser. And it's the same thing, you guys, we can spend time and money and effort trying to run our own, own ads with mixed results um, and with, um, you know, maybe a hit, you know, stress or overly expensive leads and, and those types of things. And the benefit that I did was actually to learn that when I went out and bought my first $20,000 course to advertise, I found out that that was cheaper than all the tens of thousands I keep dumping into ads of stuff that just doesn't work. Right. So again, as Chris has mentioned, this is a 100% done for you, um, done for you process to fill your students or your studio with unlimited amount of students that you guys can have. And the going joke for auto run is that it's like a water faucet. You turn it on when you want your leads and your trials to come through the front door, and then you turn it off when, um, when, you know, you're full or, or over capacity. So, you know, it's done for you. And, and, um, yes, we can give them the images and give them everything you guys, but setting up the ad and the algorithms is really where the secret lies. It's not with your, it's not with the picture. It's not with the landing page. Anybody can make those. It's the, the ads that have to be set up correctly. Right. And that, and that's it. And that's where Rich's expertise is. Um, 
Like I'm a martial artist. I run a martial arts studio. I'm not a Facebook guy. Rich is a Facebook guy who also happens to be a martial artist, but we all have our thing, right? Like I like to coach and guide and mentor and advise people uh, in addition to running my school. Rich likes to get Facebook dialed in and fucking laser it to crush and get results for school owners. Uh, and that's what he does. So listen, those of you that are in our run, everything you just saw is coming to you free. You got a couple of options on that ad. You can do uh, 30 days for a dollar, which I don't recommend. I like 30 for 30, which kind of ties in with the cool ESPN thing that they do right now. So 30 days for 30 bucks, that is a paid membership, which of course will increase them showing up. Uh, you're going to value stack them on the backside, but uh, Rich and I will get into you with that uh, once you guys start loading it up and he starts getting onto your dashboard. We'll go through all the ins and outs of what to do, what not to do, how to set up the text flow and, and do all those things. I don't want to spend uh, the whole thing. So I got a couple more things I want to get to today. But uh, for those of you that are using auto run, you got some exciting shit coming up that, uh, that we've devised to, uh, to get you crushing. And those of you that don't yet have auto run, I'm going to show you that right there. Uh, you can go right there, go to uh, auto run .fitness, use referral code, Chris XBD5, like I have no idea what the fuck that means, but uh, use that because when you do, you'll get two weeks free and you get $50 off per month for life, which is a hell of a deal, Richard. Yes, absolutely. And look, here's, let's just do math, right? Because this is what I like to do when people go, oh, I don't know if I can afford it. Let's just do math. I told you that I got 11. Let's say you don't get 11. You only get five new members. And let's say that you only charge a hundred bucks a month. So that's $500 a month. But it's not because your average customer stays with you six months, seven months, eight months, nine months. So that's 500, let's just say nine times five, that's $4,500. So would you spend 500 to get 4,500? I would all day, I do. <laughs> Bottom line, I do, right? I invest in my business because I'm in, in this for the long game, not the short game. And I know, and I don't charge hundred bucks a month. We charge $159 a month. So that math works out for me. And by the way, it's not 500 bucks a month for the system. It's like half of that. So yeah. for that, that's ROI, right? And if you're looking for a way to invest in your business to grow, I gave you a free campaign that costs you 50 cents. This is another product and a service that you can use for a few hundred bucks a month to make a few thousand. That's called awesome ROI in my book, right? So anyway, you can put that stuff in there and uh, I'm going to take make that go away. I'm going to produce and direct at the same time here. I'm going to hide that. Uh, and again, those of you that may have questions, you can always put those in the comment below. You can always uh, PM me as well with any questions uh, to do that. We are going to say bye to Mr. Richard right now. Thank you for your time, my friend. Thanks for having me. And we do. I have to get my that set up for me uh, today or tomorrow, too. So we'll talk about that. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll get that crushing because we're going to do the 30 for 30. We're going to ESPN that thing. Uh, all right. Oh, there you go. I'm going to show that real quick. Now, it doesn't have your name because they we didn't click that link, but you can't afford not to use Auto Run if you want to build. Auto Run has paid for itself so many times over. I consider it free. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it right there. Oh, that's, that's Mr. Wilcox. Oh, is it? That's that's Mr. Wilcox. Wilcox. Billy, by the way, there's a there's a there's a star, a star pupil right there. Billy's in uh, Kansas. He's in Missouri. He started, yeah. Billy's now well over 100 members at his school. But when Billy started with me, he was less than 40. Right. So he's crushing it. And that's that's exactly the kind of person I like working with. Someone who implements, someone who takes action and someone who gets shit done. So there you go. There you go. Oh, here comes all the here comes all the hype people right here. <laughs> Bye, Richard Chung. Auto runs a faucet. Amen. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Bye. <laughs> Facebook user, bye, Richard Chung. There might be a, a you missing there, but that's okay. All right. Rich, my friend, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys, uh, if you have any other questions about the auto run thing, hit me up later or drop your comments in low, uh, below because Rich and I will go back after this is done. Uh, we'll go through them and we'll, we'll answer any of those questions. All right, dude. See ya. I got a couple more things I'm going to help everybody out with. Do you want to hang? You want to hang in the background or you want to get out? You got stuff to do. Um, I'll hang in the background. All right. So I'm just going to do that then. See that? Even he's taking notes. All right. Uh, up next for us is going to be that.
cleaning protocols, right? So for our company, uh, we've got uh, 12 locations here in SoCal. Uh, we devised a system of cleaning protocols for the members that are coming in and for our staff so that they knew what to do. And I'm gonna be hooking you guys up with all of that. All you have to do is in the comments of this video, hit the word protocol. I'm not gonna tell you to spell it, although it's up on the screen. Put the word protocol in there and I will send you PDFs of everything I'm about to show you. Uh, number one of which is right there. So this is our cleaning protocol that we have for the studio. This goes up uh, on all of our windows and all of our doors. We do this in eight and a half by 11 and 11 by 17. So it knows, uh, so everyone knows what we have for them with the general overview of the studio guidelines. And really we're putting this up for peace of mind. Now, of course we're doing everything that's on there, but we're putting it up for peace of mind for our parents. And this is something that is going to be critically important for everyone as we move forward. And what I'm talking about now is almost the platform that I'm on, which is Zoom, okay? Zoom has become a crutch for many parents. So I'm gonna play this out for you and let you know why you need to reassure them that your studio is safe and that they need to come back. Now, every part of the country is different. You may be experiencing everyone flooding back through your doors. Here in Southern California, it's been a trickle of our pep members coming back, which is cool because I'm happy to teach live people again after three months, but it's a slow roll. It's not a big flood. So if they're all back at your school, then you don't need to listen to a word I'm about to say. If you're having the same issues that I'm having, then pay close attention because there's a reason and a psychology behind it about why the trickle is slow. A, there's still a pandemic going on. B, People are still nervous and anxious, which is why it's important that we continue to have empathy for our members. You cannot control people's emotions. You can only control your business and you can only control you. So to try and force someone to do something you're not ready to do is a mistake and it's gonna lead to bad blood down the road and you don't want that. So the Zoom has become a crutch. We have spent the last 12 weeks getting everyone used to Zoom classes. And for the most part, it's worked. It's gone well and it, it went great. Like for us, I was able to keep close to 90% of our members in Zoom, which is good. Now, in the beginning, I took a big hit like a lot of people did. It was a 10% hit. But when you have over uh, 300 active members, a 10% hit is a big hit. Okay. So we got them used to doing Zoom. Cool. Now we're reopened. Now what? Well, we want you to come back. But we like Zoom because they've spent three months getting used to it. Now they're not really ready to get off. And here's the psychology I'm talking about. We that have martial arts businesses have spent a lifetime getting parents, not kids, in the habit of coming to karate. And by habit, I also mean ritual. So here's how this plays out. And those of you that have kids will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's time for class. I've got to get my child out of their room or stop them from riding their bike or skateboarding or playing their Xbox or watching TV. I got to get them in their uniform. I got to get all their shit together and I got to get it in the car. I've got to drive through whatever traffic there is and get to the studio. I got to find a place to park. I got to get out of the car and get my kid's stuff and get into the studio and find a seat. I got to make sure my kid puts his stuff away, has a good class because I'm sitting there and watching. When class is over, I've got to make sure that they have all their gear, including the one shoe that they left in the back. Yeah. How many of you have found one shoe in the back of your school when you close up at night? How the fuck did they leave with one shoe? Quick sidebar. Once they get all their stuff, they got to get back out to the parking lot, get out of the spot and drive back to the house, go through whatever traffic they need to and restart the ritual of their kids for whatever they're doing at that moment. Homework, dinner, TV time, social time, whatever. That's a ritual. And we have invested our lives in getting parents used to doing that ritual. Over the last 12 weeks, here's the new ritual. I have to move my child from their bedroom to the living room and then I have a babysitter for 30 minutes to an hour. That's a big psychological shift. It has become an easy crutch for parents to do. And that's why if people are complaining to you about Zoom going away, there's a reason for that. Now, of course, yes, there's still a pandemic. People are still scared. There's still the risk of people potentially getting sick. But on the grand scheme of things, that's what's happening with Zoom. Now, in full disclosure, 
Zoom isn't going away for my business anytime soon. I plan on having an online training platform for people that may never ever want to come back or in the future, maybe they're too far away or they would just rather train from home. There is a reason that Peloton, Mirror, and Row are making hundreds of millions of dollars. People are getting into training at home. So to ignore that model would be foolish at best and ignorant at worst. And I plan on being neither one of those. So I'm going to have a Zoom model for my business that will allow me some recurring revenue. Again, I'm, I love numbers. So let's just do some math. Let's say I get 25 people paying me 90 bucks a month to do Zoom two to three times a week. That's $1,800 a month. I'll pay an instructor 20 or $25 an hour to teach those Zoom classes. They'll make good money. I'll pay them three, four, 500 extra bucks a month for me to make 2000 with zero expense because I'm already in my building. I've got the space for it. So there is a potential model. Now that's me. You might be thinking, dude, I fucking hate Zoom and I can't wait till to be done with it. And that's cool too. Listen, I'm built for in-person training. I'm, I'm only doing Zoom right now because I have to, but I saw on the other side of this, this could be a thing and it's working. Now, you could also charge full rates. You could charge 159. I'm going to charge a little bit of a reduced rate, like at 99 or 95 for the Zoom only, because first of all, it's way less work. Second of all, it's pretty easy to maintain. So I'll use that as a new entry point of maybe when it comes time for testing, they come to the school. Maybe there's so many variables that I, I don't want to go down that road with you right now because this video ended up being an hour long. But this is stuff that we talk about in depth at our owners meetings for Red Dragon things I talk about with all of our coaching clients to make them see where you can, again, with minimum effort, get maximum efficiency. And Zoom could be one of them. But I was talking about getting them off of Zoom and getting them back into the school. And that's why the cleaning protocols that I had up there a moment ago come into play because I want you to feel safe coming back. Now, I also have a full PDF, which I'm going to try and share my screen with you guys here. Don't even know if this is going to work, but we'll see. Boom, boom, boom. That's not going to be it right there. But it's right here. Aha. That's what I want to see. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to hook you guys up with that. And I have a three-page PDF document that has all of the cleaning protocols inside of it. It's everything that we're doing. Like, there's nothing left to chance. There's no guesswork. There's no mystery. If you're a staff member, a team member of mine, you know exactly what I need you to do and how to do it. If you're a member of mine, you're coming into my school, you can see everything that we are doing to keep you safe. Now, that's only part one. Part two is what I'm doing right now. Each day and two, maybe three, four times a week, I get on a video just like this and I stand up in front of my members and I reassure them and let them know. We are officially allowed to open. We are allowed to have this many people on the floor. I show them a video of the floor space. We do a video tour walkthrough. We are here for you to keep everything safe and sanitary because your safety is our primary concern. Of course, we have to wear masks. The students have to wear masks in California. Every state is different. Every region is different. But you need to ultimately continue to reassure your members that you are ready for them and it's time to come back because that's what we're built for in person training. So that's all the stuff that I'm doing that all wraps around the cleaning protocols. And the reason I do the video and the PDFs and the emails is because I believe in a marketing wheel, right? There isn't one great way to contact and reach all my members. There's five and that's a wheel, right? Five spokes on a wheel. So my goal and the goal of what I help people do is always communicate using those five ways for all your members both current and past members, because some people might like watching a video just like this. Some people might like reading an email. Some people might want an SMS or a text message. So whatever your preferred method of communication is, as a member of mine, that's how I'm going to grab you and get you. Now, I'm going to do all five ways because I don't really know. And sometimes people flip back and forth between video and email. But again, as business owners, it's important that you constantly communicate to all your members on every available available medium that you have. And you've got to control the narrative because it can get out of hand very quickly. 
you and your staff and your team have to be on the same page, which is why I have staff protocols and member protocols. So everyone knows what I am saying we've got to do. And I'm using the CDC guidelines. And for us here, the LA County Health Department, I'm using those as the building blocks for what I'm doing. So whatever the, the County Health Department is in your area, use that. The CDC is nationwide, so you can use their, their protocols for that. You blend those two together. I'm going to give you all the stuff that I have uh, as a template. So that's going to be yours. Again, all you've got to do is put the word protocol in the comments, and I'm going to give you all the stuff that I have, right? I gave you the nurture campaign in the beginning. Uh, Rich showed you all the cool auto run stuff, and now you're going to have all the cleaning protocols so that you are safe and protected. All right. So let me look here if they've got a couple of quick questions. Can be thought. Uh, yeah, 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 da, 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 da. Boom, 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 boom. Protocol, protocol, protocol. Crutch, preach it. Yeah. You forgot your underwear. Yeah, that's that's actually a good one. Yeah, going back to the one shoe thing. Yeah, how do you find how do you find random underwear in there? That's funny. Okay, um, that's going to be it for this video. Listen, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. Hopefully, you learned at least one thing. Right, that's always been my thing is. If I can go through a training, if I can just take away one thing, then it's a win. Now, listen, I got to be honest with you. I think I gave you like seven or eight things that you could do right now to grow your business, um, especially using the auto run platform or the nurture campaign to bring people back in, the cleaning protocols to make people feel safe, and the psychology behind Zoom and why it's important to slowly but firmly start to wean your members off of Zoom and start getting them back into the studio safely and slowly. I don't recommend rushing anything. Listen, we don't still know everything about COVID-19 and the, and what how it's impacting or affecting. We don't know if there's going to be, we just don't know. So that's why safe and slow at this point is going to be the best way to move forward. But safe and slow, but firmly, I need you to push your business forward because we are all built for in-person training. And that's where I want you to win. And then we can go get those new members using Auto Run. Okay. Uh, last thing for today, I had a few people ask this, and so I'm going to show you this on, on August 14th and 15th in San Diego, barring a second wave, and there are no more travel restrictions at the moment, uh, across the U S we're going to be doing our business combat mastermind. And normally this is a, uh, like a big event, but this is going to be just for our red dragon owners and our dojo doctor clients. I'm going to open up seven seats. I think we've got four amazing guest speakers and a lot of the guest speakers that I bring in to train our business owners aren't in the martial arts. Business is business. And I'm trying to bring the martial arts business up to the level of all the other businesses, right? I want to try and get everybody out of the mom and pop phase of running a fly by night martial arts school and running a professional business that runs on systems, protocols, and it has processes in place that allow you to provide predictable, reliable, consistent results without you having to be there all the time, right? Now, I love to teach, but I've worked my way and created systems into a way that allow me to teach when I want to and never because I have to. And that's an awesome luxury to have. And I have helped 37 martial arts school owners at this point get to that very moment. So when we do these masterminds, uh, those are the tools that we give you when you come. And in this group, uh, in the next couple of days, I'll have a link for those of you that are interested in coming down to San Diego, hanging out with us. And we always have fun too. We go out to dinner. It's a bunch of good times in there. Uh, but that's coming up August 14th and 15th. So stand by for that as well. Uh, once again, on behalf of Richard Chung, Auto Run Fitness, Chris Casamassa, Business Combat. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring you right back. Let's see if I can get you back up there. Hey, Rich. There you go. Oh, there we go. We're all there. Ta-da. All right, everybody. Thanks for being here. Remember, put protocols in the comments below. So I will I will get you all that stuff. I'll either give you, I'll either put a Dropbox file uh, and DM you or PM you on Facebook. Uh, if I have your email, I'll email it to you as well. You don't have to necessarily worry about putting your email in there. If you want to, cool. If not, don't worry about it. I'm going to figure out a way to get it to you because I want you to win no matter what. Like, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I just want you to win. So thank you all for being here. If you have any questions, I am always happy to help you. Okay. I want you to win. 
So if you have a question, the, the old saying of the only dumb question is the one you don't ask, like ask me that question because I'm happy to help you, right? And that's it. So thanks everybody, I appreciate it. You're awesome. Have a great day and I'll see you all very soon.